day 18 of the lambing videos. We're getting through it. We're almost there. Sheep fans, stick with me. The shearing season isn't far away. Something exciting to show you here. I'm going to talk to you at the end of the vlog about what this is. It was sent to me by a sheep fan, believe it or not. Total random gift that, you know, is just a dream and I wish I had it a little bit sooner. I'll tell you what it is at the end of this vlog. In today's video, we have more adoption, more lambing, lots more to see. Thanks to everyone that's clicked the subscribe button so far. Going to hit 19,000, I think, in the next couple of days. Click the subscribe button. And as an extra wee gem, Lizzie and I are going to do a live video again on 20,000 subscribers, or as close to it as we can, depending on what's going on at the time. Click the subscribe button. Let's start the video. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep is the game. And we are over the worst of it. We are really starting to see things easing off a bit. I say that while I've got two free pens left. <laughs> Again, three, three pens. We have three pens left and the nursery is full here. But the shed, the shed is fair empty now. I've done the morning rounds already this morning and I've rubbed two lambs on. I'm a bit slow in getting you started this morning, actually. I don't know what was wrong with me this morning. Anyway, current situation is these two. This is an adoption. Just got this. This lamb is one of the first pet lambs we had. It was a tiny little thing. It's been in the bottle a long time, but it's getting pretty big and strong. So it's a good match for a big mule like this having a single. So I've just got his legs tied just now. So he lies there, kind of camp. Look at the size of that lamb. Jeez. I mean, this lamb's two weeks old. Here, compare the size difference. This absolute monster. We'll get the restraints off him in just a second once the other one gets to its feet. But of course, we'll keep showing you these because we love these. We love the Valley Black Nose just for some fun. But look what happened last night. Our little hog. So this is a little hog from Last year she lambed in, or she was born in February last year and she's had, come on lamb, she's had these two little Valley Black Nose Cross lambs. What have we got this time? Oh, we've got a, a girl and we've got a, come on lammy, come on, a girl, so two girls. Tiny little lambs but it is a hog having twins, it is to be expected, we'll make sure she's plenty milk and keep an eye on them. I'm actually going to give them a scoot of watery mouth. Spectam, I should call it. And of course you saw that disaster we had yesterday, but the good story is, I had both lambs up for a suckle this morning. And this ewe that had the two dead lambs out in the field, she's now taking these two lambs. So that was an absolute disaster. It was a disaster regardless, we lost two lambs. But we now have that good gimmer carrying the two lambs. As always, a gimmer is a two-year-old sheep, a hog is a one-year-old sheep. Need to start putting a, a glossary of terms in the description. And while we're speaking, there's two more lambing in here, even though it's getting really, really sparse. There's still another two lambing. One of them is a single, and I'm going to rub her on. She is actually an Aberfield crossed off the blackie. So, would you call that an Aberfield mule? Maybe you would, I don't know. But let me just show you. No. Because a male would have to be off the blue, wouldn't it? She's just an Aberfield cross. But that's her there, just the second one over. Much, much smaller than a Scotch male. By the same token, it means you can carry them a bit easier through the winter. And we have this twin here lambing. She's a one-crop yow. And a one-crop yow is a three-year-old sheep. Okay. Rustling bags and Sheep making loads of noise is definitely the worst thing about adopting lambs. I have saw better options like little trays you can lamb into where you don't have this hassle. Maybe something for next year. I'm just going to try and set this up and do this rub on. This is a lamb we're going to use. Her, this lamb's mum is two pens down and she has no milk and a set of twins, which is a nightmare. So we're going to put this lamb onto this ewe here. She's a little Aberfield cross shout and she's really quite fat. 
absolutely gallons of milk. Gallons of milk. And with her being so fat, I'm quite concerned actually that this lamb's going to be massive. Let me just put that string there. I'm quite concerned that this adopted lamb is going to be massive. Oh, sorry, her own lamb is going to be massive. It might not be so easy lambed. She has been at it a couple of hours, but no, it's going to be easy lambed, I can tell now. I just need to bring it forward a little bit. That's okay, lammy. That's okay. Let's get those shoulders through the pelvis. Okay. Right, last year, you're going to need to help with this because this lamb is massive. Just a wee trick to get us past this awkward part. There you go, right. Sorry, Lammy, you lie here. I know you did this yesterday, but you're going to have to do it again today. Oh, 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 oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. There you go. Quite dry, actually. She has been lying for a couple of hours. Maybe a little factor on there. Oh, I don't even have a lot of fluids coming back this way. Hmm, that's not so good. I'm just rubbing them back and forth. That's alright. Some of this juice here. Right. Okay, so that is enough girls. Three rub ones done this morning since come into the shed. Three less pet lambs, and we had those two used last night, so five pet lambs away. She's super kind, we'll leave her to work away at that. I'm going to start asking you guys a bit more often because I've been told it's something I should be doing in my videos. Is please, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done it, think about clicking that subscribe button. We're going to have heaps of content moving through into the shearing season. I know people love seeing the whole shearing vlogs and all those kind of things, so hit that subscribe button, guys. Come on in. See, things like this, I find rather distressing. This lamb's on the wrong side of the fence. I've no idea how it would have gotten there. Or how it's going to get back without me getting involved. Oh, not as explosive as I used to be. What, uh, what was I saying about lambing hogs to the Texel? The one I've always wanted it to lamb. Aye, the wee hog. It's a doddly. There you go. It's a quarter Texel hog. If I lie, half Texel hog having a three quarter Texel lamb. Just spat out before we even noticed she was lambing. Some game. Yeah. Easier than I thought. <laughs>
really badly from this cheviot here. And you can see now, all the swelling's went down. And he's looking far better for his cell. They've been in the shed for a couple of days, just because I thought it was a bit unsure on his feet. Oh. And now mum loves him. We'll get a look at him as he runs out the trailer here. How you doing? V, V, Biden, V, Biden. Why do Why do Why do Tell me, make. Right, everybody stand still. Nobody move. Beautiful. What a beautiful reunion. Right. <sighs> when will I learn? I don't know why, but I didn't film an ending to that vlog. Must be getting tired. You know what it's like at lambing time, it wears you down eventually. So this little thing is a tray, a potting tray, believe it or not. It was sent to me by Fern McGregor. Now, I don't know if she's been watching uh, farm vet films. My good mate Kaz, the farm vet, who's his own YouTube channel. I saw he was using this for doing rub-ons. And as you'll have saw in that video, I was moaning about having to rustle the bag when I do adoptions because it gets the whole shed worked up. So this is the solution that Fern McGregor has sent me. Thanks very much, Fern. Too kind, far too kind of you to send this over. But I'm gonna use this for any future adoptions. And it won't send the shed Totally crazy. Just finishing this one off with a big thank you to everyone that's joined my Patreon. We have our warming meeting tomorrow night, which is Monday the 3rd of May at 7 p.m. So tune into that on Zoom. For those wanting to learn a little bit more about sheep farming or becoming a new entrant farmer, then the Sheep Game on Patreon is a great place to do that. We have lots of educational stuff on there. And if you want to just see some bonus content, check out my YouTube members page. All these little things, these little added bits of income are really helping me transition away from being a police officer to being a full-time sheep farmer because on rented ground, the way I'm doing it, it's hard to make enough money to keep you going. So I really appreciate the support, guys, genuinely. And everyone that's bought the merch, unbelievable, making such a difference to me, hopefully, becoming a full-time farmer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next one. Sheep, Maddie. Um, you're Alice, who is the name, and Sheep's the name.